This is a part of the Garden of Eden series. And uh, we were talking about soil and how you can accumulate soil in an otherwise barren area with little to no effort by simply scraping up some of your grass and um, bushes and maybe um, cardboard and um, different supplies like that and letting them sit in a pile and what will happen is the they will break down and they will turn into a composted hummus so to speak and you'll have an area you'll have an, an ability for a lot of other uh, smaller plants and things to start growing in that area right here we have you know huge piles of daisies and these year, live year round and they go dormant back into the ground and they and grow back up when it's uh, feasible for them and those are like five foot tall really nice you know these are all wild and there's some blackberries and stuff these blackberries will take over this whole fence line real quick you could turn a barren area into a really nice area so quick it's just a uh, little to no effort and um, I do these videos because I I'm constantly in barren areas and are in people's yards that they just allow to you know be, be really ugly and it could be really nice and I put this uh, morning glories on the fence and it'll take over the whole fence no problem and um, I'll show you another example of you see this fence line here it's pretty barren now on my side of the fence You can see I've got multiple greenhouses. I have a, a, a whole cactus garden in just one area of the fence line. So you can see that white stuff is called polytarp. And it goes all the way back where I have a compost pile and multiple other bedding areas for plants and the greenhouse and the other side of the greenhouse is covered this whole yard is covered and um, talk about uh, compost for a minute you can see that dirt there and the boxes I put all paper goods all receipts all newspapers any type of uh, supplies like that and again I put them in a box or in some kind of semi-contained area that doesn't make a mess in my yard and I let them break down in the Sun typically a box of crackers for instance or a cereal box you know type of is cardboard and a box of granola bars for instance and it has a lot of dyes um, in the cardboard even if they're natural dyes and uh, nowadays for obviously for environmental reasons they do make natural dyes on a lot of uh, cardboard labeling and stuff and you can take that box of cereal granola bars for instance and just toss it in the pile on the ground in the corner and it'll uh, sun will break it down and then when the sun breaks it down um, either which way it's it's providing multiple things at that point besides an eyesore in your yard you know you don't want to put that in your front yard but somewhere where you can put cardboard but um, if you put just a box of uh, crackers or anything right now on the ground right there what will happen is, is the sun will start breaking it down okay and then bugs and every other kind of thing is going to live under it for a shelter and then that shelter is going to provide moisture and again all of these bugs and the moisture is going to provide this whole little ecosystem on this barren square and this barren square right here will turn into this right here square and that little green square is a lot nicer than this gray, gray one and then you have the beginning of a forest and eventually over time you can turn this into this